good morning students this is the last topic in unit 2 actually in previous in previous class also we studied some megascopic studies of the uh, igneous rocks and uh, sedimentary rocks actually yesterday i have to be complete this metamorphic megascopic study of the metamorphic rocks but uh, due to time shortage i didn't complete so uh, in this chapter so i will complete today so megascopic study of the metamorphic rocks those are quartzite gneiss schist marble conlite and uh, and uh, slate guys uh, the first one is the uh, the first one is the here just a uh, quartzite guys here uh, the first one is the slate uh, slate is belongs to the metamorphic rock now we are uh, going to discuss megascopic studies of the slate slate is a fine grained foliated metamorphic rock what is the slate uh, slate uh, slate is the fine grained foliated metamorphic rock formed by low grade regional metamorphism of shale or mudstone so what i am saying is shale is there or mudstone is there mudstone or shale these belongs to the uh, sedimentary rocks when sedimentary rocks affect to the low grade um, regional metamorphism that shale or mudstone uh, changes into the slate the metamorphism of uh, aluminium rich minerals in shale to micaceous minerals in slate and the parallel alignment of these Slaty minerals give rise to foliation in slate, which renders slate to break along the foliation plane smoothly. Slate is most often formed by the low grade metamorphism of shale, mudstone, or siltstone. The color of the slate depends on the mineral constituents, uh, constituents often black, carbonaceous, carbonaceous, carbonaceous slate contains organic material red uh, uh, red slate gets its color from iron oxide and green slate usually contains fluoride slate formation is uh, favored by the compression due to horizontal forces along with a minor amount of heating in a sedimentary basin which is now a part of or is involved in the convergent slate boundary uh, just like uh, uh, the uh, guys here a slot for uh, actually this is the slate uh, photograph of a hand specimen showing slaty 
uh, slate cleavage and the sketch. Here A is the uh, here A is the uh, slate. B is the sketch. Here the megascopic characteristics of a slate. Color variable with the shades of gray, black, green, and red. Here means slates we can observe the color is variable. So what is the variables with the shades of gray or black or green and red and grain size? Very fine grain and less than 0 0.1 mm. Uh, crystals not visible with unaided eye. Hardness is uh, hard but brittle. Texture or structure. Foliation is well foliated millimeter scale and the cleavage perfect slaty cleavage with a smooth surface. It breaks easily along the planes parallel to the sheet silicates, causing a slaty cleavage. Structures, slaty structure. Mineral composition. Mineral composition is essential mineral is mica minerals, biotite, chlorite, muscovite, which uh, impart a sheen on foliation surfaces. Accessory minerals is apatite, graphite, magnetite, uh, tourmaline, or zircon, as well as feldspar, may be present, but cannot be identified with unaided eyes. Metamorphic faces, metamorphic faces, <laughs> green cyst faces, and name is the slate. Parent rock, mudstone, or shale, phyllitic, important uses. Used in the construction, it is used as a roof and a floor tile, and blackboards, standard with material of the beds of fold or a snooker, snooker or delay. billiard uh, tables due to its uh, sturdiness and uh, appealing look. Indian occurrences associated with the Delhi and Aravali sober group of rocks in parts of Azmir, Alwar, Jaipur, Sawai, Madhpur, Bharatpur and Bundi, Udaipur and uh, Chitragarh districts. Here, Philite, uh, we need not to knowing about that one. And um, guys, here sit. So according to our syllabus, this is in your syllabus. So that is after the slate. After the slate, here uh, um, like knees is cyst is there. Here uh, cyst is there. Cyst is a cyst uh, is a medium to coarse grained metamorphic rock process cystosity and marked with the preferred orientation of. Uh, Predominantly large mica flakes are platy minerals. These platy minerals commonly include micas such as muscovite and biotite, which displays a planar alignment that gives rise to cystose structure of the rock. Cyst also contains a small amount of other minerals, often such as quartz and feldspar. Apart from describing texture, the term cyst refers to the rocks having a wide variety of chemical compositions. In general, cyst refers to a strongly foliated, medium grained metamorphic rock in general formed on the continental side of convergent phase boundary. It is formed by the metamor metamorphosis of rocks having grade higher than slate. Cyst is composed of Platy mineral grains that are large enough to be descended with the naked eye. The alignment of these platy minerals lead to the formation of foliation surfaces. The foliation surfaces so formed are much distinct and coarse due to high degree of crystallization of micaceous minerals. The name cyst just needs enough alignment of platy minerals to be called so. Occurrence of other minerals in the cyst give a rise to a rock with a new name, hornblende cyst and garnet mica cyst example. And also you are advised to identify hand specimens of the cyst with the help of megascopic characteristics given in table 9.4. Photographs and sketch of the hand specimen are given in this figure.
guys here, garnet purpuroblast in biotaxis and uh, chloraxis. Here, microscopic uh, characteristics of this tree is color variable with uh, alternative dark and light bands of often with shine and uh, grain size fine to medium grain often crystals can be seen by unaided eyes hardness hard and compact and the texture of structure foliation well developed foliation scale millimeters to centimeter scale due to preferred orientation of sheet uh, silicates mainly biotite and muscovite quartz and feldspar grains show no preferred orientation it is smooth in touch cleavage flaky minerals from roughly parallel layers rock splits into thin pieces due to the presence of mica structure histo structure mineral composition uh, actually in the mineral composition means essential minerals is there and the accessory minerals is there but essential minerals is mica quartz plagioclase garnet uh, porphyroblast garnet is common chloride is uh, consist of chloride accessory minerals is quartz feldspar kyanite chloride garnet and uh, Storolite and uh, sylvanite may be present, but metamorphic forces is intermediate or medium metamorphic grade between fillite and gneiss. Uh, interference names is parent rock, shale, and mudstone. Important uses cyst is strong and durable, thus, it is used in building construction or decorative rock walls. Indian example, northern part of Sikkim. Uh, Southern Sun Valley, north of Nahan, Himachal Pradesh, Kalamala Range, Kolar, Raichur, and uh, Tungabhadra Valley in Southern India. Here, yeah, sketch of hand specimen of C is presented in A and B. Now, knees. Guys, knees is. Uh, this is also belongs to the metamorphic rock. This is a high grade foliated metamorphic rock. The rock is medium to coarse grained. It is characterized by alternative bands of light and dark minerals, which render the rock with compositional and structural variation. Lighter minerals are felsic, whereas dark minerals are mafic in composition. The banding is not continuous or absorbed in the cyst. Foliation is distinct, but the rock is not flavorable along the foliation planes as in case of a slate and cyst. Nis is formed by regional metamorphism from variety of variety of protoliths. protoliths. Likewise, to identify enhanced specimens of Nis, with the help of microscopic characteristics given in the table 9.5. Photographs and the sketch of the hand specimen are given in figure 9.6a, 9.6b, and 9.7 respectively. Here, garnet bearing knees and feldspar bearing knees. knees. Here, guys, 9.6a, yeah, it, it is also knees, but uh, garnet available. But here, bearing knees, it acts as a feldspar. It is a high grade metamorphism. Just here, uh, how to identify the knees? Knees is here, black and white bands is there. When these bands is there, it, be, it belongs to the high grade metamorphism and easily we can identify those rocks. So from these two photos, we can observe garnet bearing knees and the feldspar bearing knees. G-N-E-I-S-S, -S, uh, actually we have to call knees in this word, G is the silence. That's why we have to call the knees. Oh, so, megascopic features of the knees. Color variable with alternative dark and light bands. Grain size medium to coarse grain. Hardness uh, hard and compact. Structure, uh, structure, uh, foliation, foliated, 
banded appearance and made up of granular mineral grains typically it is marked with the foliation but generally with the rough surface cleavage poor structure knee structure and mineral composition is essential quartz feldspar mica and amphibole with alternate light and dark colored bands giving rise to nisic bands to the rock light and dark bands of felsic such as feldspar and quartz and mafic minerals biotite pyroxene amphibole garnet etc these are the main essential minerals but axillary minerals is hornblende and garnet metamorphic phases high grade metamorphic rock but inter means uh, inter uh, inferior or name is nice parent rock is shale marstone or calcic igneous rock uh, this is called uh, changes to the nice important uses it is used as dimension stone in construction of building uh, 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 building facings and paving Indian occurrence is nice is confined to small pocket in the central India and Karnataka. The banded nice complex in Aravalli and the Bundelkhand Kraton Chato Nagpur nice complex. Sketch of nice in the hand specimen. Here, guys, uh, easily we identify these the bands of the black and white in uh, one more, each one is the parallel. when we identified the structure we come to know the structure name is the nis in the above section we have learned the identification of foliated metamorphic rock now in the following section let us discuss megascopic characteristics of non foliated metamorphic rocks marble and quartzite here up to uh, we learn about the foliated rock here non foliated rocks guys as a uh, discussed in section 9.3 the non foliated rocks are those metamorphic rock which are characterized by total or nearly total absence of foliation or parallelism of mineralogical constitution typical examples of non foliated rocks are marble quartzite let us discuss megascopic characteristics of marble and quartzite in the following section here marble guys marble is a medium to coarse grained crystalline metamorphic rock whose parent rock is possibly limestone or dolstone what he says actually limestone or dolstone is the sedimentary rock when limestone or dolstone affects the uh, pressure and temperature in beneath the earth that limestone or that dolstone changes to the marble so when we identified the marble once upon a time that was a limestone that is the history of the marble now during the formation of marble protolith composed of calcite crystal uh, calcite crystallizes as a result fossil fossil shells pore spaces and the distinction between grain and cement is disappeared marble displays typically a uh, sugare texture known as saccharoidal texture in general marble is a non foliated regionally thermal metamorphic rock produced by metamorphism of limestone marble compresses of dolomite is mean 80% of magnesium plus limestone is called a dolomite and metamorphosis or transformation or alteration the calcite crystals reform themselves in a denser and equigranular uh, form a calcite crystal thus making the rock harder even uh, even uh, even though then the limestone which corresponds of hardness of 3 and most hardness scale
marble usually forms a convergent tectonic uh, settling or due to the heating of limestone or dolomite by ascending magma. Unlike quartzite, marble could be scratched with a metal blade. You are advised to identify the hand specimens of marble with the help of megascopic characteristics given in the table 9.6. Photographs and sketch of the hand specimen are given in figure 9.8a and 9.7b respectively. Here, megascopic characteristics of marble is color. Variable color is variable. Pure marble is white, whereas marble with a trace of iron is reddish or pink. Grain size medium to coarse grain, EP granular, hardness hard and compact. Texture or structure, granular, structuroidal structure, foliation is non foliated, cleavage absent, but a fracture is present. Structure, granular structure, dolomitic marble shows slightly cysto structure, and mineral composition is essential mineral composition is calcite or dolomite. Primarily, it is composed of calcium carbonate and it reacts with uh, dilute acid. Accessory, clay minerals, mica, quartz, pyrite, iron oxide and graphite, gritty to touch. These are the accessory minerals and metamorphic phases. Variable grade regional or contact metamorphism. Uh, in appearance and name, it is a map. Parent of is limestone or dolostone. Important uses. Crushed stone is used as an aggregate in highways, railroad beds, and construction. Dimension stone in uh, monuments, buildings, uh, sculptures, paving, etc. The uses of the marble. And Indian occurrences. Narmada River Valley in Central India in uh, Bida Ghat area in Jabalpur district of Madhya Pradesh. Yellow marble is found in Jaisalmer district of Rajasthan. Guys, here hand specimen of marble showing a saturoidal picture and the sketch of the hand specimen. Now the quadrate. Here go here guys. Quartet is a non foliated hard metamorphic rock. It is formed by the metamorphism of pure quadratic sandstone. During metamorphism, pre existing quartz grains recrystallize, creating new, la new larger grains under moderate to high grade metamorphism. The quartz grains in the sandstone fuse together. The distinction between cement and the grains and also open pore spaces disappear and the grains are interlocked with each other. Quartzite is a non foliated metamorphosed sandstone which forms along the convergent plate boundaries and along the orogens. Guys, here what he says Quartzite is a non foliated hot metamorphic rock. It is formed by the metamorphism of pure quadratic sandstone. What he says, guys, here uh, found a metamorphism of is a pure quadratic sandstone. During metamorphism, what happened? Pre existing quartz grains recrystallize, creating new larger grains. Under moderate of high grade metamorphism. Oh, the quartz grains in the sandstone fuse together. The distinction between cement and grains and also open pore spaces disappear and the grains are interlocked with each other. Quartzite is a non foliated metamorphosed sandstone which forms along the convergent plate boundaries and along the orogens. Quartzite is a common metamorphic rock as its protolith sandstone is also common. 
alternation of alteration of uh, quartz rich uh, greater than 90% quartz sandstone takes place due to the pressure heat and chemical activity during the metamorphism the fusion of quartz grains during metamorphism make the rock denser equi granular and hard unlike marble quartz jet cannot be scratched with a metal blade due to presence of quartz and its essential essentiality gives the rock hardness corresponding to seven and more hardness uh, hardness scale and guys microscopic characteristics of quartz jet is color variable uh, variable means of pure quartz jet is white may be reddish due to presence of a ferrous mineral and it is sometimes green also uh, fungite or quartzite grain size medium grain equi granular interlocking grains of quartz and uh, sugary appearance hardness hard and compact texture or structure is granular foliation is absent cleavage absent uh, fracture is frequently observed structure is granulose structure mineral composition is uh, essential minerals is quartz other mineral impurities such as hematite may be present and accessory micas feldspars garnets and some amphibols metamorphic phases grade variable resulted from regional or contact metamorphism here quartz the parent rock grade variable result from uh, so metamorphic phases grade variable resulted from regional or contact metamorphism in periods are named quartz period rock pure sandstone quartz arnite important uses extensive use in building and road construction indian occurrences delhi ridge is a composer of quartzite and lesser himalayan so guys but here he forgot to wrote the the quartzite is the the good example of quartzite is uh, in our andhra pradesh sri salem is there almost all sri salem mountain uh, just it's nothing but the quartzite so once upon a time that's the area is a sandstone area that sandstone uh, goes um, uh, take the metamorphism that all sandstone are uh, is converted into the quartzite And here, guys, uh, today, uh, quartz means this marble and slate. I explained clearly. Now, I got the one of the uh, one of the remaining is the quartz light. So here, I want to uh, guys, quartz light. So this is the last topic of the quartz light. Here, uh, I searched many books and written in quartz light. But I get a very little bit information about the conlight. So as the same thing, I want to present before all of you. Here, guys, the conlight is uh, like conlight uh, is a fully metamorphic rock. Yeah, it's also called Bezawada mix and Kailas mix. Here, guys, Bezawada mix hundred percent is from Bijawada uh, because uh, these rocks are identified our surrounding area. And here, the conlight is nothing but it's a one type of mix. So it is a fully metamorphic rock. Yeah, it is also called the Bezawada mix and the Kailas mix. It was named after in Kond tribe of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. Actually, just when geologists were went to identify different type of rocks in our Andhra Pradesh, um, uh, just uh, they, the geological team identified a Kond tribe peoples uh, who they are living near to this type of rocks. So geologists give a name as the name of uh, their tribe. That's why Kondites, uh, when we identify those type of uh, structure, we need to give the Kond uh, uh, Kondite. So here the Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. So our corn lights. Uh, uh, so it was named after the cold tribe of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh because uh, 
the well formed examples of the rock were founded in inhabited hills of these regions of eastern india here i will give you some example corn light at uh, rushikonda visakhapatnam india here uh, uh, rushikonda is a one of the famous beach in visakhapatnam in that area the corn lights are well developed the picture shows the corn light and now distribution but very well distributed corn light is found in the eastern ghats between jewada and katak in india katak means is coal kind so but the term corn light is also used to describe other rocks of similar composition found elsewhere in india as well as in burma sri lanka and the inner mongolia region of china but the composition corn light is quartz manganese uh, rich and garnet uh, rhodolite it may also contain sillimanite and graphite feldspar may occur in some cases but formation corn lights are considered to be meta sedimentary rocks formed during archean era archean era means it belongs to the 2200 million years back so it's almost equal to the 224 years back structures now we discussed uh, so according to levy's life term the corn lights and the related chornakite of the eastern part region were formed when the eastern part that was uh, faulted and buried it was uplifted later burning these metamorphic rocks on the surface so what he says according to according to levis and lay fermat the corn lights and the related chornakite of the eastern ghat region were formed when the eastern ghat belt was faulted and buried it was uplifted later burning the these metamorphic rocks to the surface and the uses corn lights whether easily uh, corn lights whether easily but still have been used in building and temples for example at the corner sun temple and jagannatha temple okay guys uh, so today i completed successfully uh, chapter 2 so onwards tomorrow i will go to the chapter 3 thank you guys